Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be talking about a circular array, and that will be a, a part of Dynamo Point within our uh, basic uh, Dynamo uh, course for uh, beginner. In today's specific topic, I will be looking at the point dot by cylindrical coordinates, and uh, you can, you know, as we said, you can search it here by the search bar for the library, or you can just go right to click uh, in the mouse and just write. Uh, point dot by cylindrical and it gives you the, the point you want. Uh, what is this uh, point is uh, different technically from what we have previously as X, Y, Z. It totally depend on the existence of a uh, for coordinate system. And here there is a coordinate system has been already defined uh, for you, uh, which is a coordinate system that depend usually on a, you know, a plane and then a point to, coordinate, to control it and in this case it's already been placed here in the zero zero so it's already been placed by default and it's also need uh, the angle and it's been set to zero which means going toward the x-axis or let's say it's toward east uh, elevation which is the height of the point which is here set uh, automatically to zero and a radius of a one so it will not be you know shown in the, the zero zero point and you miss it with the a normal point by coordinate system which is depend on xyz as a cartesian system this point is not a cartesian system it's, it's basically a, a polar system and it helps you to create a circular or polar array uh, so how we how it how it's actually works and what's the main inputs we can uh, use i'm going here to add a slider and in the slide this slide i'm just gonna you know try to you know explain each parameter or each input here so i'm going to give that to the angle and i'm going to ex extend or increase that and you can see that the angle will be you know change so probably we need to a bit uh zooming in, in here uh, we'll go and set up the number slider to 360 degree and instead of a point one, which is make it really painful to move, I will go ahead and change it to five uh, as an incremental as an incremental value for each uh, you know step in the slider. So you can go here 90 degree, as you can see, it's compare also uh, the whole thing uh, to 95 actually. So I'm going to give it a 90 here manually. So 90 degree is a, a normal angle uh, from the red axis, which is toward east or toward x axis and go on until you know 180 to 170 and it close back to 360 which is the same value as the zero as you can see in here so that's what the angle does elevation it's the height of the point uh, from the x and y plane so i don't need the 360 i'll set up to 10 and the incremental or steps to one so set back that to zero and connect to the you know elevation and you when you increase that you're going to see that it's going to fly up as you can see and if you want it to go down you're just going to give it here a minus value like a minus 10 if you need to be you know in a negative uh, elevation or negative uh, altitude anywho so that's uh the that's the elevation radius i think it's also self-explained it will be basically you know the distance between i'll just set this one to uh i think uh, yeah zero so it will be sitting on this plane and the radius will you know control the distance from you know the uh, x and y uh point which is the point where the uh, hidden or uh default coordinate system is set as you can see in here so uh, what if you want to change you know the coordinate system you, you need actually to create one uh, I created one here already, and this guy, as you can see, it's CS, so that's the coordinate system by a plane. I'll just activate it, so you can see it, uh, it's in here. Actually, it's here because I already moved it, and what it needs as an input, it needs a plane, so I picked up a plane by original and normal. Uh, again, I'm going to, you know, preview that, and you're going to see that's the plane and then you need a point of course because the input that this uh, need is origin if you look if you hover above you're going to see it's need a point so that's the point or that's my point that i created the plane uh, according to it and as you can see uh, now is the whole thing is just to control 
you know, uh, the coordinate system, if I move that back, it will be matching the default value. And here, I'm just connect this guy here. Uh, nothing going to change. Probably it's, it's too far away. Um, if I maybe push it to one or two uh, meters, I don't know, maybe two is enough, as you can see. Anyway, let me push that up. A bit messy here. And you can see now, uh, of course, I don't need to see the plane. It's really a bit, uh, you know, uh, annoying. I'm also going to hide the coordinate system. And all I need is to move the X. And you can see that the whole, you know, the whole uh, point by coordinate will still following, you know, the point that I just created. So this is the origin point that we need. And it's going to, you know, uh, you know, rotate or elevate or, you know, get change the radius base on this uh, origin so if I just go and change the rotation now you can see uh, it will be rotate around this instead of the default value which has been set as a coordinate system on zero zero anyhow so uh, I'm gonna turn off this let's that's that's for you to understand uh, the command itself I'm gonna hide that dude here uh, if you go back here, if we go down here, sorry, uh, what what we do or what we actually are actually doing here, I'm trying to make it a little bit more uh, complicated. Uh, so I'm going to open the preview and zoom back. What we have in here is instead of giving one value for the angle, I just get uh, to give it a range. And that range start up from zero, ending up by 360. So I'm making a full circle and it's going to jump five uh, degree or actually as an incremental of five. And that will go as a degree of an, incre an incremental of a degree each five, as you can see. Anyhow, so that will be, you know, as long as you connect it, I'm leaving the lacing to... Uh, auto as you can see and and the radius is I think self-explained so you can make it bigger and you make it smaller as you desire it's exactly you know a, a basic uh, polar array and I'm calling it here circular array or circular array whatever you want to call it and as you can as we can understand it we jumping a bit you know into from and a single and single unit or one double unit here uh, as an input to a range of an input and we see the complexity of the result I'll turn off this one also and again as you see I left the uh, coordinate system as the default value here if you want to connect it and I highly advise you to control the creation of your uh, nodes as later on you need to use this to define it as a custom node and we'll come to that topic later so you can control and create the array on any surface, on any location, and instead of, you know, fixing it on the zero, zero, which is not really useful all the time. Now, let's go for more advanced uh, polar array. And in this case, I'm going to have a look at an incremental degree. So let's activate this one. And we're going to have a look at what it makes. It's basically here. Uh, created for us uh, a polar array or a circular array where I have A to B to C. That's again a range and that's A the beginning instead of a zero and that's the B, the end of it instead of a 360 and that's the amount of an increment in the, you know, in the range but from A to B. See the difference between this one. This is, you know, a bit more advanced from the previous one I know but this one is even more advanced always in order to go to a professional way of working with dynamo you have to, to get yourself to to you know to understand the ability to allow to do yourself to define all the parameter need to be created so don't don't leave it manual like that or fix let's say like that and you have to manually feed that each time you want but rather you have to create a slider or uh, you know any type of a dynamic input and use this this way of presentation so you don't need to come and you know change that because 100% you're going to forget what are those numbers later on but here you can read it's a start angle and angle and the incremental degree 
So let's test this. And as you, as you can, I think it's already running. I don't need to test this. The, in, the incremental value is at 30. If I run this guy here, you're going to see it jump from zero. So this one to 30 here to, you know, 60 to 90 as per you, you see here until it ends up with the 360. And probably we need to get rid of the last one because in this case, we're going to have two points, you know, ending in the same place. So probably let me try to 330 instead. So we don't have, yeah, it, it won't change anything, but it will make less points at the end, which that's true because we, we need 12 point instead of a 13 where here, sorry, sorry, at where we start at zero and then we go all the way ending to 360. Having two points in this location is not really correct. Anyhow, so that's, that's for this one. Of course, the radius is self-explained. You can, you know, make it bigger and uh, you can make it smaller and have a look again that i use here uh, a pure number without the pound or the hashtag or whatever you call it meaning whatever number you use here will be the pure jump or the pure incremental value that's why i call it uh, advanced polar array or you can call it circular array based on an incremental degree in the second option that i have here i just add this pound uh, symbol that means that I'm gonna have whatever value you're gonna get here will not be shown as you know a real uh, a real nine between zero and eight uh, sorry zero and 45 it, it's not gonna be shown as a zero nine 18 and so on this is a jump so there's a nine jumps here or nine values and Dynamo will go look how many jumps he can manage to success to create between zero and and 30 360 so if i turn off this one uh let's cut off this and activate this one uh, by uh, you know right click on it and then preview you can see that this guy here is giving us nine segments or nine increments between each point or between the or within the 360 so one two three four five six seven eight oh, let me check maybe i made a mistake if it's nine ink segments or nine points um we're not really quite sure one two three four five six seven eight so it's nine point in this case one two three four five six seven eight nine point exactly and again this is an increment of a nine so if you want to make this 10 again you're going to get you with a 10 points 12 12 points and so on so that's how you know uh, that's how you can you know feed the values either you want a 12 elements to be you know distributed around the circle or you want an element you don't know how many elements you have but rather you have the angle between two elements so whatever you want in this input you know you you need or you know you have 12 elements to be rotated around the point and here you know the angle between them and you don't know how many elements it will be result so that understanding what's your input is significantly important uh, to define the uh, the type of the array the polar array you are designing Anyway, so that's it. I don't want to talk too much about, uh, you know, uh, this uh, this specific topic. Don't forget all the time, you can go back here and connect, you know, so you can uh, control where is, control the point. Uh, you can control where is the point uh, or the array is actually taking your place. And you can control that later on when you create your own custom node. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I wish that you find that video useful. Take care.